Hello, good morning everybody. Assalamualaikum. Uh, I would like to share my uh, knowledge, my experience uh, in ITS, uh, including uh, our research in University Kebangsaan's lab. If you go back 100 years behind time, uh, we will see something like this, uh, a car look like horse cart with engine uh, and in the road construction a few thousand years ago uh, at the left hand side you can see this is the uh, the way people construct uh, the road but now uh, with heavy machinery we can construct much uh, better road uh, with much shorter time but of course uh, some people say this is not good for our environmental because we cut down trees and then we cut earth and we fill up here and there uh, disturb a lot of uh, ecosystem but we need our roads uh, for our future economy and uh, in our car you can see something like this uh, GPS uh, for our navigation system a few, s a few years ago this is very expensive but now it is uh, very cheap almost everybody can buy a GPS this is uh, one of our role to make it to make uh, uh, ITS or in intelligent transport system or gadget uh, become like uh, affordable for everybody yeah. and uh, in terms of public transport uh, a few years ago, we can we need driver to run our rail uh, transport, uh, and it caused some time uh, accident because of the human error. But now we can see this kind of train. We don't need driver because everything is computerized. Uh, and uh, in our our campus, uh, we try to develop. Uh, something like this, what we call it UKM Urban Transport Management System. Uh, we have our traffic light system with a camera on top of it. The camera will act as a sensor at the same time for observation from the control room. When we And then we put this microprocessor for every intersection to carry out image processing for this camera and, opti op and op to optimize uh, uh, the setting. And and this uh, cameras almost the same with this camera along the highway uh, is used to observe the traffic and detect incident and report uh, any incident to this uh, control room and also we have something like this we put GPS on a bus uh, so the uh, passenger can see uh, the location of the bus uh, I was working in City Hall of Kuala Lumpur before for 14 years and we installed SCAT uh, in 1991. Uh, SCAT actually is Sydney, Sydney Coordinative Adaptive uh, Traffic System uh, actually from Sydney but uh, at the time I was trained in uh, Brisbane uh, by Vic Road uh, to handle SCAT and we installed SCAT in Kuala Lumpur in 1991 successfully until now it is in operation and also in Kuala Lumpur we have uh, Itaca Itaca is from Spain uh, but not in the middle of the city not in the city center uh, slightly outside the city center of Kuala Lumpur and in Kuala Lumpur also we have ITs uh, integrated uh, transport information system uh, I think about 700 uh, 700 CCTV installed in Kuala Lumpur and the surrounding area and also there is there are a few variable measure system uh, to inform uh, the drivers uh, what's the uh, traffic situation on the road network uh, and if you look into the uh, architecture, uh, physical architecture uh, I would say this is quite ancient uh, because in 1980s this is the uh, traffic uh, control system uh, we have several traffic lights and all connected to one computer in the control room and we have to pay a lot of money 
to telecommunication company uh, for this line hmm. and uh, in 1990s uh, this is the way we, we uh, design uh, our system we have regional computer to control a few traffic light and we have one in the city in the in the control room as a central computer but the uh, function of this computer uh, the central computer is not to control the traffic light but as a supervisor or coordinator between this uh, regional uh, computer but now with the internet uh, uh, advancement in internet uh, this is the more uh, suitable option uh, we have something like this uh, a wireless communication system uh, use TCP IP uh, or protocol for internet and and because of the microprocessor now quite cheap so we can effort to have micro one uh, one microprocessor for each uh, uh, traffic light and this central computer is used only for uh, intervention or maybe to monitor uh, the situation uh, oh let me go back here again so this is what we will call it fully distributed uh, uh, control system so the control distributed to the traffic light instead of uh, centralized in the central computer this is one of the uh, method how to control uh, 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 distributed uh, uh, traffic light so each traffic light uh, is installed microprocessor so uh, the each uh, traffic light will coordinate uh, uh, its action to the neighbors and the same thing here uh, this uh, traffic light will uh, will coordinate uh, the uh, its action with the neighbors so and so on so now the whole city become coordinated hmm? so this is what we call it fully distributed uh, architecture and for a single uh, if you look into a single traffic light oh sorry uh, the uh, spelling still in Bahasa Malaysia spelling so if we look into a single traffic light uh, we focus our our op, our our uh, we focus our attention to one traffic light so this is what uh, the, the architecture look like we have one camera to observe uh, each approach uh, uh, and then all the signal from the uh, camera will go to this uh, module to collect all the videos uh, image and we have computer to analyze the image and decide what is the suitable green time what is suitable um, uh, uh, cycle time and coordinate with the neighbors and if we look into uh, uh, the control room because we have uh, camera uh, for to observe the traffic situation so the image can be observed from the uh, control room so we can see the actual traffic light uh, from the control room yeah. this is the traffic situation uh, from the control room so in uh, Bangi uh, our campus is located in Bangi uh, we have installed uh, six uh, traffic light uh, and then we have four uh, CCTV to observe uh, the traffic situation and we have another two in Petaling Jaya uh, we are still a small system but uh, we are now trying we are trying to uh, install this one in other cities uh, in Malaysia and outside Malaysia uh, and for the optimization we use uh, genetic algorithm uh, to optimize uh, each traffic light and to opt optimize uh, the uh, coordination between traffic light uh, this is an example of chromosome in our uh, genetic algorithm we use uh, green time actual green time which is put randomly into this uh, chromosome uh, and then we have uh, crossing uh, cross between two chromosome x and y and the position of crossing is also selected randomly 
something maybe in the middle maybe something like this at the end of the uh, chromosome and also we have muti mu mutation uh, one cell we can change uh, the value randomly uh, and this is uh, what what the objective function look like so in this case we want to minimize uh, uh, delays and maximize uh, flows but this is one of uh, one of the objective function uh, to minimize uh, delay for so you can see here for the first few generation uh, the minimization of delay uh, is uh, quite fast and after reaching uh, this one quite slow until about 40s first for 40s generation go down again and the small reduction a small reduction at 150 generation and between this 200 and the 500 generation uh, no uh, minimization so we just stop at the 500 generation uh, and then that's the uh, 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 green time uh, setting now uh, let us see this video Philip uh, can you see uh, the traffic light now is green so all the cars are moving now toward the second intersection so we have calculated uh, by the by the way by the time the first car arrived at the second intersection the traffic light will go green this is what we call it a progressive flow or green uh, wave uh, in this case uh, we give priority to the vehicular traffic because you can see not many pedestrian in this area this is not coincident but it is calculated so by the time the first car arrived uh, can you see now can you see now the traffic light it is still red now it is green so the car will move uh, without uh, stopping but uh, uh, there is a new uh, insight into the traffic light in Malaysia we still give priority to vehicular traffic but in Europe uh, they call it civilized traffic control whereby uh, they give a priority to pedestrian and public transport so this is what they, what they call it civilized traffic light traffic control so uh, the traffic control that give priority to the vehicular traffic they say uncivilized uh, 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 traffic control actually I'm quite agree with that uh, 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 with, uh, I'm quite agree with that uh, maybe you don't agree with that let's see this one if we look into this let's say carbon dioxide concentration uh, in the last uh, 100 years the uh, carbon dioxide concentration is actually has been going up very fast uh, methane concentration also the same thing nitrous oxide concentration also the same thing so uh, this create uh, this uh, carbon dioxide concentration create greenhouse effect and causing our our temperature uh, uh, going up huh? uh, this is going up going up and going up uh, creating global warming uh, global warming situation yeah so I think this is uh, good uh, to observe to reduce the traffic yeah again this smart traffic uh, CCTV camera so we can use also as a uh, enforcement uh, enforcement tools uh, to read uh, the plate number of uh, violators uh, and then we can search uh, the name of the drivers or the, or, or the owner of the car uh, and also we can detect incident uh, in this case we dis we detect this this lorry uh, this big lorry uh, uh, in the middle of the intersection uh, yeah and also we can use for for almost yeah uh, anything uh, uh, what we can think of so the police usually they they, they want to see a crime or they want to ex they want to study the accident and so we can use that one the smart camera system okay for a uh, surveillance camera uh, if you drive your car uh, along uh, 
highways in Malaysia or uh, in Europe or anywhere else, you can see this kind of camera at the roadside. Uh, it is used to observe uh, the traffic situation. Conventionally, uh, every uh, camera uh, uh, is linked up to the control room uh, using telecommunication line. And this one quite expensive uh, because you have to pay the telecommunication company. Uh, Sometimes it costs you a few thousand ringgit or a few thousand dollars a year. Uh, but but now with the uh, 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 wireless communication system, which is uh, now quite cheap and you can install easily, and with the uh, internet protocol, uh, we can use this kind of uh, system. So we have only one uh, backbone here, and all the camera, all this camera, uh, with the uh, microprocessor. Uh, is connected. Uh, uh, everyone, uh, every camera is connected to this uh, wireless uh, backbone. So this is quite cheap uh, and easy to uh, maintain. And for the digital image, uh, this is a typical uh, uh, image uh, for normal CCTV camera. Uh, we have 480 pixel. This is uh, this is not expensive high-end CCTV, just a normal CCTV camera which is you can get quite cheap uh, in the market uh, so about this is the uh, uh, pixel actually picture element uh, so actually this in digital image uh, this pictures this picture actually consists of a picture element one small dot one small dot here small dot small dot and so many small dots here about uh, 180 uh, high and 640 width uh, and multiply by 3 because we have red, green and blue so for digital image processing we can observe a few pixels in the middle of the road lane uh, the value, uh, the intensity of the uh, uh, pixel usually between 0 and 255 one for black and 200, 255 is uh, white so uh, this is uh, the intensity of pixel for road surface uh, about 150 so if a bright car uh, passing through that uh, this one uh, passing through this pixel uh, uh, the intensity will increase because it is uh, a brighter car but if a darker car, maybe black car or dark blue car, uh, the intensity of pixel will go down. So we can write uh, computer programming uh, to count uh, the vehicle. And to classify uh, the vehicle, we can use the length. Uh, we just observe a few, a number of pixels along this line, along this line, the red line. You can see the red line here. So, uh, if a car, this is uh, the, the uh, pixel intensity look like, this is the road surface, this is the car, and this is the windscreen, and we can write a computer program uh, to measure the length. For this case, about 4.3 meters, uh, so, we so automatically we can decide that this is a car. And for this one, you can see this is... Uh, this is the windscreen and this is uh, the roof of the bus which is white about 200, 255 the uh, intensity of the pixel and we can write a computer uh, we can write a program computer program to measure the length so in this case 12 meters so we can decide uh, this is a bus eh? and to measure the speed uh, we can detect uh, uh, the the front edge of the car in one frame, and then uh, for we can detect again the car at the uh, subsequent frame. So in this case, after uh, this is uh, uh, the the five the, the frame rate is five frame per second. So the duration between these two frame actually one fifth of a second. So we can 
measure uh, uh, the distance of travel in this case about 5.8 meters uh, measured by the computer and divide by the uh, uh, duration in this case is one fifth of a second so we can get the speed of about 104 kilometer per hour and for uh, uh, enforcement purposes we have to search the owner so the best thing we just read the plate number so in this case this is the step for us to read the plate number uh, we have image from the camera we capture the image enhance the image searching and forecasting the plate number character segmentation character normalization uh, training the of neural network and then we testing we test neural network to read the plate number so uh, this is one way of transforming the uh, plate number for easy uh, uh, processing black and white is much easier from the color because the uh, uh, pixel intensity we are talking only only about zero and one zero and one compared to this one between zero and two hundred fifty five mm. so uh, we use simple uh, neural network to read uh, the plate number the plate number and they talk that on we can search uh, the owner uh, and uh, we can use also this uh, uh, camera uh, the CCTV camera to detect incident and disaster uh, incident may be a breakdown car vehicle or accident a disaster we, in, we can actually uh, disaster we can uh, uh, define as uh, uh, flooding or uh, slow failure uh, or hazardous material uh, so we can use this one uh, the CCTV camera and if any accident or incident or uh, disaster uh, we can send uh, an alarm to as using SMS uh, to the person in charge or directly to the control room and we can use also our traffic light control system traffic control system for a uh, sustainable urban transport uh, system yeah. so if you talk about tra uh, sust uh, sustainable transport system uh, we, we must be able to reduce con uh, congestion we must be able to reduce fuel consumption uh, we must be able to give everybody to to travel uh, so uh, we can we can use uh, uh, this model to model what 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 is the policy we are going to take and what's the impact of our the policy we are going to implement how many people will shift from the from uh, from private car to the uh, public transport uh, so we can uh, we can we can refine our policy and we can uh, 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 we can give uh, more service eh, uh, uh, for uh, in the public transport and our traffic light we can use as a sluice gate uh, to control uh, the traffic entering the city center if the air pollution in the city center become higher and higher we can reduce uh, the, gr the uh, green time uh, so reduce the car entering the city center now uh, this nanotechnology, nanomaterial become quite famous now the price still very expensive but sooner or later the, the, cri the price will come down and can be used uh, anywhere uh, let's say for us this one, wave bridge uh, this is a conventional wave bridge uh, uh, so you have to divert the vehicle to the wave bridge and then uh, 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 yeah, yeah takes time takes time and difficult to to uh, monitor but if we can put nano carbon here nano carbon tube uh, across the road five meter apart we can measure the weight of this vehicle because carbon nano tube is very sensitive to the to the tension or pressure so we can use this one uh, to measure the weight of this uh, vehicle and if this vehicle overweight we can use this uh, uh, camera to read the plate number and search the owner 
and also we can use nanomaterial uh, in construction like bridge construction uh, instead of using concrete in the future uh, we can use uh, nano uh, material so our bridge become much thinner and much longer span and in terms of road construction uh, now we have wearing costs, uh, base costs, uh, sub base costs, sub base costs and uh, subgrades so become quite thick and take longer to uh, construct but in the future with nanomaterial we can have a simpler uh, road construction and thinner and faster to construct and also uh, with this nano plumbum uh, sulfide uh, it which is very efficient in harvesting solar energy so we can we can paint this column with uh, uh, plumbum sulfide and harvest the solar energy for for this lighting and what next what next eh? what next now we are talking about computer and other technology now let, let's look at this this uh, this map I think almost every one of us knows about uh, Queen of Seba huh? Queen of Seba uh, with uh, Solomon uh, King Solomon uh, so when King Solomon uh, get to know about Queen of Seba and then he invited Queen of Seba to Palestine and he asked his uh, army uh, who can bring the throne of Queen of Seba before the Queen of Seba arrived to Palestine and uh, one very strong gene uh, said that he can bring he can bring uh, the throne within one night but one wise man said he can bring the throne within uh, a blink of eye and once the eyes of uh, Solomon uh, bling and then he can see the throne in front of him you know. so this is like this is something like impossible but it is written in the uh, Bible in the Quran and the Torah you know. uh, and and people in Hollywood uh, make the uh, science fiction story some uh, something like this uh, Stargate uh, the people can travel a long long distance uh, through this uh, tunnel so in theoretical physics uh, theoretical physics uh, they have something like this what they call it wormhole so we can travel uh, a very in far far distant place uh, through the shortcut uh, tunnel small tunnel so maybe next time we can explore this one we can travel in a very very short time through this tunnel uh, thank you very much